Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Uh, we are starting out here again, right where we left off, except a little bit down the hill. Uh, and first thing we gotta do now, uh, you see these spotlights? Yeah, we need to get rid of those, because otherwise they're not too bad now, but the bombs that come from them are gonna give us a lot of trouble in the future. Oh god, not these guys again. Little devil children, go away! I hate you! Go away! Alright, so yeah, we just gotta follow these up to our up to their source and take out the operator, just like we've done in previous Forsaken Fortress run. Although this time it's a lot easier. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta switch my weapons around real quick. Um and I'm gonna need this. So let's go ahead up here. And this should be a pretty easy thing to do. We just pop around here really quick. I like to stun people personally. I feel like it makes it easier to kill them sometimes. Just makes it less of a hassle. You just stun them and hit them a few times while they're stunned. And this guy, we just gotta run over here. I'm gonna actually have to jump down here. I wonder if I can glide over to that ladder like that. That kind of be cool. Uh, uh, nope. Gotta go. Gotta climb all the way up. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we gotta go for the second guy now. If the damn demon babies would stop singing, shut up! What the hell? What is it? Did he just climb a wall? What the hell? What is this thing? This thing is like not normal. It shouldn't be allowed to exist. I feel it's so screwed up. All right, so that's two spotlights down. And now we just gotta get our third one. Let's see, how can we get to the third one? I don't quite remember. I'm thinking it has something to do with dropping down here, though. So, let's go ahead and give that a shot. Come on, please be right, please be right. Um, that looks promising. Glide, glide, glide! Oh, god damn it! No! Oh! Alright, I may have to climb up this manually in that case. No! No! Go away! Whoa, lag. Cannot hit that many guys at once. Doesn't like that. Oh my god! Get out of here, you jerks! Why are you everywhere? I hate these things so much! They're terrible. They deserve to die. Uh, is this the right path? I think this is the right way, if I'm not mistaken. I hope it's the right way. There should be a way up somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I told you. You thought I was crazy, but I told you. Is it this way? I think this is the last one here. Or is it over there and I haven't achieved anything? Nope. Yeah, it's here. Alright, so he eats my sword real quick. No big deal. Yeah, take it in the butt. Alright, so now that we've taken those three out, uh, you see that platform over there? That's where we need to get. So, gonna just jump off here, cancel, fall out of the sky basically. And we need to make our way over there. Uh, you can go through all of the doors and everything, which is the long way to go about it. But I prefer to just jump off here and glide down to it a lot faster that way. And you just come in right through the front door. Now once we get in here, we gotta be watchful for one thing. There's a gargoyle right above the door here. And uh, we need to move fast. Get away. Yep, not too hard, but just gotta make sure you move fast or you're gonna get nailed in the back and it's not friendly. Let's see if I can break this really quick and get something good out of it. Ah, oh, god, what? what is this? break. Anything good? Bombs. That's pretty useless. Alright, and you can see there's no way to really get up to the other side, so ideally what you do is use a bow here. I'm actually just going to boomerang him because I don't feel like pulling out my bow and glide across real quick. And if you do it fast enough, you should be able to catch him before he can hit you off when you come over. Ah, I need to find more leaf stuff. Although I don't think I need the leaf much anymore, so I should be fine. 
All right, moving on in here, we are making, we're getting pretty close to uh, the end area here. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. That sounded weird. All right, next door. One more door in, and we should be in the right place. So here, we just got some basic patrols, nothing too major. You could just roll right past them, don't worry about them too much. They're not a big concern. Like, they can't even touch you if you're just moving at a relatively decent speed. That's really the case for most of this place. You could just roll right through it, because you don't have to worry about being detected or anything. The only thing you sometimes can't roll past is these guys, because they just build up until they outnumber you. That gets annoying. Ooh, oh crap, I didn't realize I missed one of these. I thought I got that one. Um, that could be an issue. I wonder if I can do a long shot on him. I'm gonna try that real quick. Let's see if I take out my bow. Any chance of that? I don't think it's happening. There, I don't think it's even physically possible for me to hit him. I know you're here. Oh god, go away, I'm trying to shoot your friend. Give me a second. Uh... One or two more? Alright, it's not happening. Alright, we're gonna have to take our chances while we're sliding across this thing and hope we don't get shot. I... I'm not sure about this. I've never... Last time I got it right. Oh god, it's the one right there. This could be a pain. Can I shoot him from this angle? Not really. Alright, we're just gonna have to time it. I'm gonna go now. Come on! Nope, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, wait until it goes away, and then sidle. Stop. No! Go away! Go away, you freaking demon baby. Go home. Nobody likes you. You have no friends. Alright. So, it looks like we're gonna make it across this one. I hope. Do I have an angle on him now? Can I shoot him? Come on. A little lower higher. God damn, I'm a bad shot. No? Really? Alright, screw it. I have tried and I have failed. You win. Wait, but I got more arrows. It's like it's asking for me to shoot it. Yeah, I don't think there's any way that I'm going to dodge that if I try to sidle across, though. Which I'm concerned about. For sure. Ah, I wish I had a crosshair or something. So hard to aim this. Can I even hit him from here? Doesn't look like it's happening. No? No, okay. Fine. I will try... Ah, god, already? You jerk. I didn't even start yet. This is gonna be bad. Go, 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 go! Yep, could not run it. Fuck! Ah! <sighs> Damn guy. Alright, well that's annoying. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take him out real quick, and then I will meet you back up top. <sighs> I swear I already did this. But I suppose we will take him out again. Must not have killed him last time or something. Maybe that's what it was. Damn guy. Alright. Just wanted to show you that real quick. I will see you back over there. Okay, we're back here, and there are no- there is no longer any cheaty spotlights that turn back on, so it should be pretty much smooth sailing. As far as getting across now? Yeah, without the- Oh, crap. Okay, that could have been bad. <laughs> I would have been very upset if I fell there. But anyway, yeah, just a long sidle now, and very undisturbed by any flying explosives, so I'd say it went pretty well. I really don't know how that spotlight got on. It really... He must have not been dead or something. And we got a button here. You do not hit buttons sideways. You hit buttons down. Oh god, not you. Go home. You have no friends. Um, and so what we're actually... This is going to be a pretty long episode, I'm going to say. There's a big story arc ahead of us. So, actually, I don't know, I may cut it halfway through, so we'll see. Uh, 
Alright, so we're in. Nothing has hit us yet. <gasps> Big Brother! You're okay! I was worried. Yeah, I don't think you're just opening that cell, dude. I think it's a little harder than that. The cell won't open that easily. There you go. Acting before you think, as usual. I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? It was about to come flying in here after you again. That sword. Where did you get that? Are you... Is it even possible? How could it be? Hmm. Well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their fathers back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But isn't there still something that you need to take care of? Right. If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Normally I'd expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time it's my treat. Listen, Ariel. Your brother still has some things to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so you just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? But, big brother... Miss Tetra, we have to hurry. The bird will be here any second. Gonzo, excellent. You're just in time. Take this one for me. Huh? But she's... She's fine. Just do as you're told. Big Brother! Bye. Ben. We'll be back, I swear it. That's kind of a creepy wink how she just like solidly winks. It's so strange. Uh oh. That guy was not too friendly to us the first time around. Oh. Oh crap. Water? What? Okay, we're definitely in bad shape here. Okay, so what you need to do in that boss fight, first stage is just to go as fast as you possibly can up this. Don't bother with any of the enemies that may show up along the way, just keep on running. Uh, do not go off the edge though, it's a pain if you fall down there. I'm not gonna fall on camera here just because I don't want to waste the time. Uh, but basically if you fall you have to use a grappling hook to get up every single one of the broken things that he left for you. While constantly getting hit in the face, it'll take you a solid three to four times as long as it would normally. So uh, move quick, don't get held up by that, it sucks. I did it once on my first playthrough, and it was really annoying. <laughs> oh god, keep moving. And once we get to the top here, we'll be right up next to its face. And you just gotta give him a nice bonk on the face. And that's it. That's the whole fight. Done. It's pretty easy. Here, let's just, uh... want to reorganize my inventory real quick. I don't think any of this is really that useful, but I don't think I need the leaf for sure. So yeah, we got nothing else to do now, we just chill up here. Or do we? No, we don't. Okay, so hold on a moment here. And we have a bird, stage two. Yeah, he doesn't go down that easily. It's not like we just gave him a severe concussion or something, although that would be nice. 
Come on. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, so there's a few different stages to this fight, per se. First stage, uh, you kind of just want to get in close whenever he comes down on the ground and try to get him to peck at you. Don't get hit, but try to get him to peck, because if you stand too far away, he's just going to flap at you and then fly away. So it's more a balance of staying close while not being too close. Come on, peck. Yeah. And then once he pecks, you just use a big hit on your hammer here and smash him. And you can clearly see that's creating some cracks on his face, which is going to be significant in a bit. I'm going to guess you can tell what happens, though. It's not too complex or anything. Most Zelda boss fights are not too complex. Ooh, we're actually getting lucky here. When I played before, it took me a while to get this far. I think it's more closing the distance. As long as you stay within a good distance, like a good balanced distance, then you should not have to take too long on this part. Come on. Yeah, come at me. And boom! Armor is off. Now we are in his second stage where he is unarmored. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, except now you hit him with the sword instead. Nothing too complicated. Ooh, he's actually staying on the ground for me. Oh god, I actually got hit? What? Madness! Oh god, what is going on? I'm stuck. Damn it, I missed out on a chance there. Come on, buddy. Oh wow, he is not even trying anything else. He does have some other moves, like aerial swoops and these big wind gusts that try to slam me into the spikes on the side. But he hasn't really employed any of those against me in this game for some reason. Come on. Yeah. And then jump attacks are usually the best thing for closing the distance like that. Wow, that was actually really easy compared to my first try. Alright, well I suppose I'll give you the other tips then. Uh, when the wind gusts come, try to roll towards the bird. Ro just rapidly rolling is usually the best way to ensure you're not going to hit spikes. Make sure you don't go fully under him and then get gusted in the back, because that's also kind of bad. It's just a matter of keeping right in front of him. Uh, so they, yeah, that's one thing to watch out for. Other thing is when he does the aerial spikes, just dodge him. I feel like that one should be pretty obvious. And you know what? Uh, we're actually getting pretty close to an episode here, I'd say. So I'm probably just going to call it here, because in the next episode, we got a lot of stuff to show so that's going to be all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that big bird fight. And I will see you guys next time.